Oregon coast waves are powerful. But largely unexplored. Oregon State University professor Burke Hales is chief scientist for the Pack Wave Testing Facility. Devices like this one are being built and placed off the coast to harness wave motion into usable energy. We're really excited about this. The $80 million facility has been in the works for years, and construction is underway. The Department of Energy also recently awarded an extra $25 million to project partners to test wave energy technology. It supports clients who are going to come use our facility. It suggests that they're committed to its complete construction and operation for the long term. This facility is the first of its kind in the U.S. The idea is to expand renewable energy sources to combat acceleration and impacts of climate change. So this is a, a major step. PacWave Deputy Director Dan Helen said last year the Oregon project will be an example for other places. As more devices are tested and proven, then I think the applications are going to increase and it will be used more and more. Why is this project so important to you? We need to be proactive. We need to be problem solvers. We can't describe the problem anymore. We just we have to work on solving it. Wave energy is appealing because unlike wind and solar, wave power keeps going and going and going. And so we like to think of this as like, you know, the, the low interest but guaranteed part of your retirement portfolio. Partners receiving this new Department of Energy money include Portland State University, University of Washington, and multiple power technology companies. The PacWave facility will be seven miles offshore near Newport with careful monitoring to prevent harm to ocean life. And the goal is to have it operational by 2023. Galen Etlin, KGW News.